everybody. Today I'm going to make something unusual. Today I'm going to make a chocolate sauerkraut cake. <laughs> My beard's getting too long for cake. Much better I can make a cake. Time for the ingredients. First comes a half a cup of butter. Warm. Then a cup and a half of sugar. You're going to take those things and mix them up. The next thing you're going to put in will be three eggs. Get your whisk and start whisking them. Okay, now we've got some vanilla, just a dab. And we're going to use two cups of flour in this recipe. Now be careful. Grab your spoon and start mixing. Oh, no. Okay, next comes cocoa. Half a cup. And we're also going to put some baking powder in. Half a teaspoon. Mix that together. Very good. Next comes baking soda. Half a teaspoon. And grab your salt shaker and shake out some salt into the bowl. We need to liquefy it with some water. One cup of water. Pour it in and begin mixing. Now for the star of the show. Here it is. Sauerkraut. That's been drained. Pour it into your bowl. Did you get it all? Get it all out of the can, okay? Just a touch. Okay, good. Now you're going to mix that all up. Grab yourself a pan, grease it and flour it, and pour this right in. Look at it. Graceful. Okay, put it in the oven, 350 degrees for 40 minutes. Let's make a topping. We got half a cup of butter and some chocolate. We're going to melt those in the microwave to get it nice and soft. We'll be adding some ingredients to this. What will we be adding, you're probably wondering? Well, we're going to add a little vanilla, just a touch. And we will also add some milk, just a dollop. And on top of that, grab that powdered sugar. We're going to pour it on in there. Very nice. Okay, I want a special ingredient, so I'm going to use this cappuccino just to give it a little flavor. And now I'm going to mix it all up thick, thick, thick. Great. Now you just frost the cake. Get it on there and start spreading. Here we have a chocolate sauerkraut cake. Yes, that, and that wonderful frosting that's just dolloped on top. I've got to taste it and know if I can see some sauerkraut in there. All right. There it is. I taste the flavors of the frosting. The frosting tastes so good, especially with my added ingredient. And I'm not certainly not noticing that sauerkraut pickled type flavor in there. Or much sauerkraut texture. It might depend on the bite. But it's a win in my book, Scrum Diddly Umptious. I love making unique things. If you have suggestions for me, please send them in because I'd like to make more unique things. If you like this type of video, click like or subscribe to my channel. Jim's Kitch Kitchen needs viewers like you. Mmm. Yummy. Sauerkraut cake.